Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're gonna cover as usual the Bitcoin price. Then we're also gonna have a look into Ethereum and we're also gonna have to check where we closed the CMEs yesterday. So my friends, we are very, very close to go back into our parabolic bull mode. So yesterday we have recovered a lot after this dump that we have seen during the month of April. So only within a couple of hours, we successfully recovered back above $57,000. So we are right now back above the 200 moving average in the four hour time frame. And yesterday I also did an update video. I told you that if here we're gonna see four hour closes and even better daily closes above $57,000, the likelihood that we could go back into our parabolic bull mode towards new all time highs is very high, but we are still not not out of the woods yet and we still have some big warning signs that I have to show you my friends because I cannot just tell you that we are out of the woods yet and we will go towards new all-time highs there are some warning signs I have to share it with you because like that you have that in your mind so whatever happens if we are entering into a correction phase you are ready for that but if we just continue to go higher towards new all-time highs then you know why that is so what we have seen yesterday was a successful push here above this potential resistance here, the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement. This was our first potential resistance zone and for now we got successfully here above this resistance and we are in this consolidation phase above the 200 moving average which of course is very bullish and as long as we are closing those 4 hour candles above the 200 moving average I'm expecting here continuation to the upside to potential reach our target here of around $61,000. This is where then we're gonna see if here we could create a lower high than this one that we had here at the all time high of $65,000 or if we are able to push higher and then also deny this potential bearish lower high and continue our parabolic bull run towards new all time highs. Because the next moves of Bitcoin in my opinion will be quite huge. We are in a very critical point here. We have to decide if here we're gonna get heavily rejected rejected or if we are strong enough to push higher and we have some time frames which are looking quite bullish of course the lower time frames are back in an uptrend but here in the four hour for example you can see that right now we are overbought and also in the three hour time frame because over on discord with my indicator we are trading the three hour time frame you can see that we got here a confirmed sell signal right now so the likelihood that we are coming down towards the 20 moving average towards 55,000 to maybe retail has this support during the weekend is very high so we could get here a pullback in the next coming hours but since we are now back in an uptrend and also we have positive money flow I still think that we're gonna see continuation to the upside and any pullbacks during the weekend maybe down here towards $55,000 you should take it as a good long and buy opportunity as soon as we're getting here another buy signal I think that could be a nice long entry if you're trading over on a buy bit with leverage. So if you're looking for a good long entry, then wait until we're gonna retest this region down here at around $55,000, where currently the EMA ribbon is lining up and also the 20 moving average in the three and four hour time frame. So we have a weekend right now and that's why I can imagine that we could come back down to retest this 55k area. After this breakout to the upside we didn't come down to retest this support so it's very likely that we could see during the weekend such a move. But overall I'm expecting a bullish week ahead so if we're gonna see during the weekend such a move to the downside take it as a good buy and long opportunity because we're definitely headed higher here. We still have a lot of room left especially in the daily time frame and that's why I think it's very likely that we could come up here to at least test $61,000 and then here we can decide if we are able to push higher or if here we are getting heavily rejected. And keep in mind that we closed the CMEs here at $57,000, right below the 200 moving average here in the four hour time frame. So wherever the price is going during the weekend, keep in mind that most of the times we are coming back to this price level. Otherwise, we're gonna create new CME gaps like we also did here at around $62,000. 
And now let's go back to the spot chart and open up the daily time frame because yesterday we had a nice daily close above the 20 and 50 daily moving average. This is what we wanted to see. And in order to confirm now the 20 daily moving average as a support, we shouldn't drop again below $56,500 or even better, we shouldn't close a daily candle below this important price level because otherwise this could just have been a fake out and we will come straight back down potentially even below the EMA ribbons again which are also here at around $55,000. So even though yesterday we had a very bullish close we still need to confirm this new support here at around $56,000 right where the 20 daily moving average is lining up and another bullish thing is of course that right now the RSI is again above the 50 level in order to see continuation to the upside and as you can see we still have a lot of room left to the upside here in the daily time frame and that's why I think the likelihood is very high that we could confirm this 20 daily moving average right now as a new support and then potentially go at least up here to test here the 0.786 Fibonacci retracement right at $61,000 and this will tell us then if we are back in our parabolic bull run towards new all-time highs because I think once we are breaking and closing daily candles above $61,000 we're gonna see explosive moves to the upside there are several reasons why this price level is so important and latest once we are creating a new all-time highs I think uh, FOMO will come back and I can also imagine that the Bitcoin dominance would also start to climb up again if Bitcoin is taking again the lead and will fire up here to the upside we have already seen this yesterday with this pump you saw that Bitcoin outperformed all altcoins and also the Bitcoin dominance came a little bit up we are still here at this 50% resistance so I don't expect that the altcoin season is over I think that the Bitcoin dominance will continue to go sideways here or maybe even lower so the altcoins will do fine here in the next coming days and weeks but when Bitcoin is having these massive pushes to the upside, then of course Bitcoin outperforms everything. And then most of the times we are also seeing the Bitcoin dominance rising as well because a lot of altcoins are coming back into Bitcoin. So the daily time frame right now is looking extremely bullish. We have everything set here to have explosive moves to the upside. There are only a couple of bearish indicators such as the hash ribbons that we have covered yesterday, which tells us that we are still in this miners capitulation. We still didn't get a buy signal there. Also, we still have to confirm now the 20 daily moving average as a new support. And another concerning thing is the Keltner channels. Here on my Bybit chart, you can see that for the first time since we started our bull run, since the last halving, we had already a couple of daily closes below the Keltner channels. And this indicator usually tells us where the trend is going. And during the whole bull run, we never closed daily candles below this important indicator. And usually this indicator is telling us if we are in an uptrend and we should expect explosive moves to the upside or if we are in a downtrend and we should expect continuation to the downside so after this local bottom here of $48,000 you can see that we re-entered back into the Keltner channel and right now we are right at the top of it so if we are in a prolonged correction phase then the Keltner channel at least the top side right here at $58,900 should now act as a resistance during our correction phase. So that's why I think that we are still not completely out of the woods yet. There are still some things that needs to happen in order to have really confirmation that we are back in our bull run and the correction is over for now. So what we want to see here based on this indicator is again daily closes or pushes here above the Keltner channel. So we have to go again above $58,900. So let's say above 60K and then also start again to close daily candles above this important price level. This will tell us that we're definitely out of the woods and we will head towards new all-time highs once we are again trading above the Keltner channels. As long as we are below the top line here, I think that we still could get heavily rejected and continue our correction phase because this was really the first time that we had a couple of daily closes below this channel. As you can see in the past during our bull market, this channel always acted as a very strong support every time 
time when we came to the bottom we always had a big bounce to the upside and that signaled always the bottom of a correction phase so you can also see here at 20k we just came down to the Keltner channels and then immediately bounced back up and here after the corona dump you can see that once we were starting to close daily candles above the Keltner channels we had explosive moves to the upside and we just came back into the channel to confirm the new support and then had it higher again and this is what we want to see also now so we have to go again above the Keltner channels in order to have our bull market back and this is of course what everyone wants to see and that's why keep in mind 60k needs to be broken right now otherwise we are not out of the woods yet we still could get heavily rejected here and continue our correction phase maybe sub 40k again before we definitely gonna bottom out and continue our parabolic phase towards new all-time highs so here at this price point here as you can see we are getting some problems to push higher but once we are able to push higher we should be out of the woods and we should expect here continuation to the upside and that's why I can imagine that here once we are starting again to close daily candles above the Kaltner channels that we're gonna see explosive moves to the upside towards uh, new all-time highs uh, pretty quickly. So we are in a very critical point here, my friends. We are about to go completely parabolic here, but we are still not out of the woods. We still could get heavily rejected here, but if we are able to push higher, then I can promise you that we're gonna see big fireworks to the upside for the Bitcoin price and of course all for most of the altcoins. So what we are seeing right now then would be just a bullish reset and we will continue our parabolic phase towards 100K potentially in the next coming weeks and months. So you see everything is depending how we're gonna close the next couple of daily candles. Don't give too much significance what is going on during the weekend because uh, I think this week will decide latest next week where we're gonna head to next because everything is still pointing out that we have now the chance to create new all-time highs very soon but we still want to see daily closes above this important price level here of around $61,000 because then we would deny a lower high and also we would start again to close daily candles above the Kaldner channels and that of course is extremely bullish and then I think we're good to go again all in and full in long mode here on Bybit Keep in mind, if you need a Bybit account or Femex account where you can trade Bitcoin and other cryptos up to 100x leverage, then use my referral link down below here in the video description. You can get also $1,000 in bonus if you register with my link. Just follow these links down below here in the description. And also just a side note, as you can see, I have closed my long position for now because we got a sell signal here in the lower time frames and we are in a critical point. So I'm gonna open up again a long position once we're definitely out of the woods. And now we can also have a look into the weekly time frame because uh, we are about to potentially close this weekly candle above $56,000 and that would be extremely bullish. So on the spot chart, we still have this week opened. Let's hope that we can close above this previous weekly open here at $56,250. That in my opinion would be extremely bullish because uh, not only we would close above this price level, but also above the nine weekly moving average. And this is what we want to see in order to be back in an uptrend trend in the weekly time frame. Also the 20 weekly moving average is right here at $46,000. That would be a potential target if here we would get a lower high then in theory we could drop again towards the 20 weekly moving average and finally test this important moving average at $46,000. And we can also have a look into the CME chart because here we closed this weekly candle already. And uh, yeah, let's say we are almost there, right where we opened the last week. So I think this weekly close on the CME is quite bullish. Also, we are very, very close to the 20 weekly moving average here at $46,000. It's not really tested, but we are very, very close to it. So in my opinion, we can almost say that we tested this moving average here and we are about to head higher 
So the weekly close here on the CMEs is extremely bullish. So let's hope that also here on the spot chart we are able to close above $56,000. So we don't need again to go towards the 20 weekly moving average at $46,000 and we will continue our parabolic phase to the upside. And now before we go over to Ethereum, I just want to show you again the monthly time frame, which is still looking extremely exhausted and overbought. Now we also got this sell signal confirmed here in the monthly time frame. And I told you my friends, every time we are getting here a sell signal in the monthly time frame, most of the times we are coming back down to retest the nine monthly moving average or even the 20 moving average. And I know those price targets are still Still very far fetched right now because the nine monthly moving average right now is at $37,000. Last month in April it was at $31,000 and now it's at $37,000. So you can see the more we stay above these moving averages, the better it is because also then we will not drop that low. But if here we would come back down to test the nine monthly moving average, which also in the past always have been tested during bull markets then it's very likely that we could go and retest the 40k area before then we had again towards new all time highs. So in the monthly time frame, we still have this big huge warning sign here. It doesn't mean that we have to go straight down because usually in the monthly time frame, the patterns always takes a long time to play out. But I just want that you have this in your radar if you are all in and have no cash on the sideline that there could be a scenario that we could again drop towards 40k and then there of course it's nice to buy that dip and then ride it up once we're starting to take off again because in my opinion we are still far away from a cycle top and we are definitely headed higher but that doesn't mean that on the way to the upside we couldn't get one real big correction before then we completely start to take off towards 100k and way higher levels. So everything is looking like that we have now the chance again to push higher and create new all time highs, but we are not completely out of the woods yet for Bitcoin, but we are very, very close to go back into our parabolic bull mode. And then we're going to see explosive moves here for Bitcoin. And that, of course, is what everyone wants to see right now. And now let's go over to Ethereum because also Ethereum here is facing some problems right at the top here of $2,890. This is the top of this channel that we are in here since many days and weeks already. And we are still creating new all time highs. So congratulations to every Ethereum hodler. Ethereum is still going completely nuts here. And uh, the charts are looking really extremely bullish in all time frames, even in the monthly, even though we are quite exhausted, we are still looking extremely good and we should expect here big continuations to the upside even though here in the daily also we are getting a bit exhausted and we could face also here a potential pullback down towards the nine daily moving average right here at two thousand six hundred dollars maybe even drop down towards the 20 daily moving average here at two thousand four hundred forty dollars but overall we will still remain bullish money flow is rising and the charts are looking extremely good in all time frames so i'm still extremely bullish here for ethereum and even though also here we could get a pullback, I still expect your big continuations to the upside as long as we're staying within this rising channel. So if you want to look for a good buy opportunity or long opportunity, then wait until we are getting another little pullback. I think it's about time here that we could get a sell signal in the daily time frame, which usually takes us always towards here the nine or 20 daily moving average. In the worst case, maybe come down to test the bottom of this channel at around $2,200. But overall, we should be still shifted to the upside and we are looking extremely bullish here, my friends. So I'm very, very bullish for Ethereum. I'm still mining Ethereum. I'm still holding Ethereum. So I'm very happy that finally Ethereum is taking here the lead and is pumping like crazy day by day. That doesn't mean that it will go forever up. We always gonna get some corrections to the upside, but overall all time frames are looking extremely bullish and we are trending way above all the important moving averages here. Even in the monthly, you can see that we're going completely parabolic. And here in the worst case scenario, we could maybe drop down also here towards the nine monthly moving average at 
hundred dollars and then dare create a bottom and take off again because even if we would get such big corrections for ethereum and bitcoin in the bigger picture we are still in an uptrend and we should then consider to take this as an ultimate good buy and long opportunity especially for the long term so the conclusion for this video my friends is very easy we have some warning signs but everything is still pointing out that we're gonna see very soon new all-time highs and continue our parabolic moves to the upside but we are not 100% out of the woods yet so if you want to trade the safe way and you want to be sure that the correction is over then we want to see again here closes above $61,000 here for the Bitcoin price this will decide if we're gonna head towards new all-time highs in the next coming days and weeks or if the correction continues here and we maybe need one more leg down before we definitely gonna bottom out and then gear up towards new all-time highs so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos and also check out all my referral links down below here especially this one for bitscap they are offering to our community the pro plan for 14 days completely for free so you can run those trading bots directly on your exchanges they are very profitable you can connect all your exchanges to one platform and then run those trading bots you can also do arbitrage so if you are interested then definitely go and sign up to bitscap with the link in the description they are giving the pro plan for 14 days for free afterwards you can start with a monthly plan which is only 19 dollars a month and usually you should get that money very very easily back within only one month so definitely go and sign up to bitscap if you want to take advantage of those trading bots and of course also do arbitrage because like this you can also do some passive money and the big shout out goes also to our great discord trading chat if you want to join our discord community here then make sure to use the link down below here in the description to join our discord community after clicking this link you go here to read first and then click on this thumbs up button to confirm that you're a human and not a bot like this you have free access to the trading chat and if you also want to get access to my indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for bitcoin then you have to send me here a private message because a small donation is needed otherwise just get here a youtube membership and then contact me over on discord so thank you again very much for watching my friends. I hope that you're gonna have a nice weekend. I will be celebrating my girlfriend's birthday. So we're gonna have some fun at her house. So have a great time and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye.